we have been moving in for the past few weeks and I don't think we're going to finish until next year sometime because it, it is taking some time. But in the midst of all of that, I have been purchasing um, some items from Amazon to help us be organized and stay organized. My whole philosophy, philosophy behind organization is that everything should have a home and there should be a home for everything. And by keeping everything where it belongs, that's how your environment can stay clean. And so one of the things I look for when organizing is, is it accessible? Like, I don't want to organize in such a way that I can't reach whatever it is or have to do a lot of manual work. I'm a project manager. I work for a company that automates stuff. So I'm all about making things easier, saving time. Like, that's just my mindset. So here are 13 things that I got from Amazon recently for our new home that I think are really going to help you stay organized. I've been using them for some time and it's been working out for me. So maybe it'll work out for you. They're not in any particular order, but we'll just start with number one, which is an over the sink dish drying rack. Now, you probably use like a regular drying rack that you put beside your sink. And then um, sometimes they have like the little drainage pipes, but I just always like, it takes up space and our kitchen doesn't have a ton of counter space. So I'm trying to consolidate where it can. And with this rack, you have a place to put your cups. You can hang your cups on the side. You can um, put your plates in a certain section. Oh, and I really like the hooks because you can hang like your, um, your big serving spoons. I put my kitchen scissors there to dry as well. And then I really love like having the soap and the sponge right in this bottom compartment because my sponge is always dry. I love getting it and it's like stone hard dry because I feel like all the bacteria is gone in my mind. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I love it not like not coming into a wet sponge that I use like the day before. That's gross. And what's really cool about it is that once you dry, like when you go to dry your dishes, the water just falls right into the sink. It just makes so much sense to me. I'm like, how come I haven't seen this before? So I got the stainless steel one or the silver one. There's also, I think a white one and a black one, but I kind of just wanted it to blend in with the sink. So that's why I chose that color. It's been working out great. It does hold actually a lot of dishes. I do use my dishwasher faithfully. Even twice a day, sometimes. If you grew up like me, you could not use your dishwasher at home. Like you had to hand wash and the dishwasher was just to dry the dishes that you washed. So now that I'm an adult, I get to use my dishwasher. Finally! <laughs> so anyways, everything can't fit in there. Sometimes you just have like a few dishes you need to knock out really quickly. So that's what I use the drying rack for. And of course, I'm gonna link everything in the details so you can purchase, you know, buy your heart out. I know my, every day my husband's like, what did you order? And I've ordered so many things. I'm just like, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I don't even remember ordering this, but it's been really good. It's been working out. So that's number one, a dish drying rack that's over the sink. Number two, is an under sink organizer. So this is like a, a caddy that has two tiers and you can put it under the sink and organize it so that everything's just not like out there on one layer. It actually creates more space for you. So I really like this for under our sink in our kitchen. We are using a couple of them in our bedroom. I'm still trying to figure out how I want things to go because again, I don't want to be searching for everything. It should be accessible. Number three, jewelry organizers. So these have been around for a long time. I actually used to place thumbtacks inside of one of the cabinets in our restroom at our previous apartment. And I would just hang jewelry in there. But I was like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe you should get a jewelry organizer. So I have one now. This is how we're using it so far. I don't even know where all my earrings are at this point. So this is just what I can find. I probably need to get some more, um, but so far so good. I think it's cool. It has a lot of space for your earrings. Um, it has space for watches, rings, for your studs, of course, necklaces. So I think this is probably one of the better ones because of all of the different options that it offers. Number four, command hooks. So if you're not using command hooks already, 
what are you doing? You need command hooks. We, you know, we just got this house. We don't want to just go around putting holes everywhere if we don't have to. So I bought all these command hooks. I actually got this kit that has different sizes and there's hooks. There's like the strips in there as well. And so um, I've used these to hang my purse. There's some hooks in there. I use them for our, our mitts, for our oven mitts and pot holders. We use them to hang pictures. There's a certain way to do it for it to stick. You do want to make sure that you put the strips together like on the Velcro piece if you're using the strips and then you're going to stick one side to whatever it is you're hanging. Let's say your picture and then the other to the wall. Hold it in place for 30 seconds and then you're actually supposed to un-Velcro it and then let the strips like set for an hour and then rehang it. I'm not gonna lie, we didn't do it for these because these were pretty lightweight. But for my purse hook, I definitely did it because I tried a smaller hook and I just hung it right on and then it fell off. <laughs> so this one actually has lasted for a couple days. So I would advise you go through those steps if you're hanging something that's pretty heavy. Number five, <laughs> command broom grippers. I just call them broom holders and basically these are from the command line. It still has the Velcro, Velcro, ugh, why can't I say my R's today? Velcro piece with it. So I also did let this sit for an hour before I actually started using it. And these are really cool, love this. In our apartment, I actually just did a over door hanger and then I would hang our um, broom, our um, duster and mop all there. But now I'm like, just get the command hold broom holder things. Like it's, it's not that deep. So I got those, you pop your stuff in, you pop it out, you're good to go. Doesn't get any easier than that for organization. Number six, drawer organizers. I have these drawer organizers that are already shaped for you. Um, and what I like about this one in particular is that it expands, but the ones that I really love are these clear plastic ones where you can basically customize it to fit your drawer. So I used it in our apartment. I had a lot of drawers in the bathroom, so I used that for my makeup and some other supplies. But now that we've moved, I have found them useful in our kitchen. So our junk drawer isn't really a junk drawer. Like it's an organized chaos drawer. You know, um, I use them for our utensils and for all sorts of things. So they're really cool, really come in handy and helps everything stay organized. So you're not just dumping everything in the drawer and just watching it play out. So um, those are an excellent buy. Number seven, pantry organizers, hello. So I actually organized my pantry in the apartment. I went and got these different containers. I've labeled some of it. And I also got these storage bins. Um, as you can see here, there's like a bigger size and then some kind of skinnier ones. And I love this. Like we use this for the system for several months and everything basically stays organized. Even if my husband might sometimes just like, you know, throw something in there. Like he doesn't really, <laughs> he doesn't care about this system. What system? But I can easily spot it out and put it where it belongs or tell him like, hey, can you put this in there? And so it's been working out for us. Um, so highly recommend. It definitely helps. I know it's like, you see it and you're like, why not just put the, you know, the honey, just put it in there regularly. It helps. It makes a huge difference because instead of, you know, putting the honey just randomly there, you now know, okay, honey goes in this container. You kind of condition your mind. And therefore, whenever you're done using it, you put it right back in the same place. Um, I did not label all of these because we were getting in different food items. So sometimes it'll be labeled one thing and we weren't using it for that. So um, definitely your call, but just having it in the separate compartments definitely helps. Number eight, makeup organizer. So again, in the apartment, I organized my makeup in drawers. I didn't have that opportunity this time. So I went ahead and bought a makeup organizer. I was kind of on the fence because I've had makeup organizers 
that you put on your countertops in the past and I just felt like it really wasn't helpful. But this one I actually like. I really love that it's clear and it's actually stackable so you can remove whatever you want. You can organize it a separate way. I tend to build up to save space so that's what I did here. Um, all like all of the makeup that I had does not fit in here but as I'm trying to be more minimal minimalistic it does help me to figure out, okay, these are actually expired. I need to get rid of these. These I can keep. And so I kind of, I mean, there's only so many pieces of makeup that I use anyway. A lot of it is just like I tried it and hated it, but I just still kept it. So this is definitely helpful for that, for keeping only what I need. And so far I like it. It doesn't look terrible i typically don't like anything out i like things to be stored away and you take it out as you go but i feel like because it's clear and it's building up it does it looks it looks nice and just so you know i added these lights to my mirror because we didn't have really great lighting um to do makeup actually and, and this works so i'll also add a link to these lights if you're interested in that i've used it for the first time today and I feel like I actually could see my makeup today. Ah, ah. Number nine, floating shelf. So this again, isn't anything new. So the thing with these shelves is that they were originally meant to go in our bathroom to help us organize and place some things that were under our sink on a shelf. But we realized that we um, could not use command strips for them because there are these uh, prongs basically that stick out of the shelves that need to go in the wall and yeah command strips wouldn't work so um, we actually decided to just use it in my office not so much for organization but for decoration but I do like the you know the understated look of it and um, it's like just enough space to put some decorative items. I just hung it last night, so I still have some stuff to add on there, but so far so good. Would highly recommend these if you just want something like something simple. Number 10, so these drawer organizers are a bit different. We actually use these for clothes and for towels. Um, they, I think they're called undergarment or underwear organizers. I, I'm not gonna show you all my business, but uh, just know that I have been using them for that and I think it really has been working. I hate just seeing my clothes just like randomly thrown in the drawer. Even when I've tried to make it neat, just having the dividers there actually helps. And um, I found that my hand towels actually fit right in these organizers. And so um, that's been very helpful too, if you wanna use them that way. Number 11, ladder shelves. So I did some deep research on what the best ladder shelves were. Like I looked at cost, like I spent days looking for this shelf, <laughs> I promise you. Um, this bathroom is a little bit smaller and so we needed something where we can put like maybe decor, toilet paper, things of that nature. So we got this shelf in, it fits perfectly in the bathroom. As you can see, we're adding little things to it and we'll continue to do that. But that's a way to um, add that shelving space again without having to put anything into the walls. Number 12, pots and pans organizer. So one of these I actually brought from our last place. It has a set like, it's already built for you. And so you just can fit in whatever you can fit in. And I used it mainly for pot lids. However, I found this pot organizer that actually lets you choose the size that you wanna use. So I made some spaces bigger to fit some of our bigger pots and pans, and then some places, you know, a little bit smaller, which I can put lids on. So if you are like me, then your pots and pans are usually just thrown in there, <laughs> however they fit. And whenever you go grab one, everything comes crashing down. No more of that. Everything is organized under the cabinet. We, I want to say, donated most of our pots and pans because we had them forever. So we're ordering new ones. But so far, this is what it looks like. And this is how we're going to use it. And as you can see, it fits all these pans easily. Everything just, it looks beautiful. It just, it gives me peace 
to see everything organized so well. Finally, number 12, shoebox organizer. So previously we used a shoe organizer. We actually had two. One was in our closet and it was like kind of a canvas material and we put our shoes on that and it always felt like we had more shoes than the space could fit. The same thing with this other organizer that we got from Ross. It actually kept falling apart. So I had to Gorilla Glue the pieces together. And then we used that for our entryway. Um, but still, it was super tiny. So I was thinking about like, what can we get to accommodate all of our shoes? Um, our closet doesn't necessarily have a space right away that I could think of. So I found these shoe box organizers and I think they are awesome. They're like little lockers for your shoes. Now all the boxes come in folded. And so it was super tricky trying to figure out how to do this, how to set them up. I actually like looked on YouTube and everywhere and I couldn't find one, like a tutorial that actually helped. So I'm actually gonna make a short with that tutorial on it. But once you get it down, it's like, okay, I could do this all day. I don't wanna do it all day, but I could do it all day. So these have been key. This is some of our shoes in here. We're gonna add a few more, um, but I just wanted to set it up so you can see what it looks like. These can fit up to a size 10. The only shoes that are like barely making it are our shoes that have a thicker heel coming out of it, like from the back. So those shoes are barely making it, but they still fit in. Some of these shoes I have had to turn like one is upright and the other one is on its side so that they can fit in well but it fits that size shoe if that's what you need. So definitely recommend it. It's clear, it looks nice, and it fits right under where our clothes would hang. So there you go. All right, so those are all my organizing hacks. I hope that this was helpful for you. When you're organized, like you can think better, you can be more productive. So I do hope at least one of these things work for you. And if you have other suggestions, please leave them in the comments. If you end up buying any of these things, let me know how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching. You know that I love you. I hope that God blesses you and I'll see you in the next video.